with us right now is Republican Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah. Senator Hatch also on the Finance Committee. Good afternoon to you, sir. Well, nice to be with you. Well, you know, the president said that the true economic recovery is going to have to come from the private sector because we don't have enough public dollars to fill the hole. What's your reaction to that? Well, it's nice for him to say that, but they're hammering the private sector. This health care bill alone has a job-killing employer mandate of $28 billion. It has increased Medicare payroll taxes of $54 billion. If you add all of the other uh, taxes to it, it's, it's something that's killing small business. The National Federation for Independent Business uh, says that 50% uh, of the small business people earn over $200,000 a year, and they're going to get hammered because of that. And that's where you get jobs. Guess where the money goes? It doesn't go to employ people. It goes to pay taxes. And so, you know, the, the, real, the real employers, the ones who really create the jobs in this society, have always been small business. They create 70% of all the jobs, and they're hammering them with this, uh, this outrageously large... Well uh, uh, health care bill. Well then, well then Senator, is, is, does that mean to say that the job creation is going to have to come from the government? Well, that's where they're getting it. You know, for every government job they create, and that's what they're creating, uh, they're killing some small business jobs. And frankly, uh, a lot of these government jobs are not permanent jobs. We want to get permanent small business jobs, permanent jobs in the private sector. And I've got to tell you, unemployment rates, they said that when unemployment was uh, it was much lower than today. They said that they, they thought it would top out at 7% if we spent that $800 billion right. right. Well, now they're up to 10.2%, and that's, that's not the underemployment. The underemployment is 17.2%. So you're talking about, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, earlier today, I heard someone say that one of the best ways to get money back out into the economy is to not take it in the first place, and that means tax cuts, especially for businesses, maybe tax incentives for hiring more employees. What would you think of a plan like that? Well, you know that's a Republican plan. We actually believe that if we give the money back to the employers, they'll actually expand their employment opportunities. They'll bring people into jobs. In contrast to these crazy government jobs and crazy so-called, quote, stimulus, unquote, jobs, I, I remember uh, eight jobs that one state reported in Oregon, they were for rattlesnake stewardship. Can you believe that? There were another 600 and some odd 50 jobs uh, for a school district that only had 600 jobs. Uh, in other words, there's all kinds of fraud in this, all kinds of misappropriation of money. Uh, it, every time you have the almighty federal government run things, you can count on it not being run very well. The criticism, though, is that if you give tax cuts to small businesses, that they'll just keep the money, that they won't necessarily use it to hire more people. How do you answer that? Well, I've never seen that happen. If, if they give tax cuts to small businesses, most small business people want to do better. Most of them know they can't do better without more employees and without more product. And so generally, they come up with more employees, more product, more opportunities, more economic development. That's been the history of our country. I don't know why people on the other side are so doggone stupid that they think that the federal government's going to produce jobs. What they're producing are small-time okay. government jobs. That's what they're doing, and it's just awful. I, I like that you don't mince words. Senator Orrin Hatch, thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> nice to be with you.